At Udacity, we just released a new feature, text. Ta-da! You'll be able to start seeing reading morsels show up inside your courses. But don't worry, we aren't going to make you read a novel or a textbook, but sometimes it's useful to leave text for you. Like you might see GitHub instructions or a project rubric inside a reading morsel. But the Udacity classroom isn't too large. We only have this much space to work with. So instead of forcing everything to move down, we use an overflow to make sure that text can scroll. You've probably seen something like this on other websites. Let's see what this looks like in CSS. I will right click here, go to inspect element. Inside DevTools, we can see that the text on the screen has this CSS class for overflow auto within the reading area class. If we uncheck it, let's see what happens. I'll click it and make DevTools disappear. We can see that the text is flowing outside of the classroom and into the elements below it. And this is obviously a problem. Let me go ahead and turn overflow auto back on and everything's safely back in here. It's worth keeping overflow in mind in the event that you've got a lot of text you want to contain in a small area.